the FCC giveth and the FCC taketh away. Yes, this is the story. So you might know or you may not know that we have a little swath of spectrum around 5 megahertz called the 60 meter band. And this band is essentially an in-between between the 75 meter band, which is 3 point, well, I guess 3.5 to 4 megahertz, and the 40 meter band, which is 7 megahertz. So we got this little piece of spectrum. And the argument for it was to give us a piece of spectrum that would be useful for emergency communications. There is one catch. The first of it is that we are secondary users on that band. So the first primary users are government and land mobile. The second more important catch is that this frequency allocation is channelized, meaning that we have access to some channels in there. And these are not typical an amateur band. These are more or less like channels that have a limited power and limited antenna types. So we have very limited access to that band. Well, apparently now the World Radio Communication Conference, which happened uh, a few years ago in uh, well, 2015 um, one, we gained access to a continuous segment from 5351.5 to 5366.5 kilohertz, which is in the 60 meter region, but it's not the same as the channels we have. So this leaves the FCC with a decision, which is, do we get to get this allocation and forfeit the other channels, or do we get this allocation and keep the channels? So the FCC actually dropped a notice of proposed rulemaking, which had a, a bunch of things for other radio services, but had this particular question for the amateur radio service. And they are going to be soliciting comments for this. So in a nutshell, there are several proposals. One of them is that we get this new allocation and we forfeit the channels that we have. It's one. Two, we get this allocation. And this allocation, by the way, is low power. It's like 15 watts EIRP, which is about 9.15 watts ERP, which is essentially 9.15 watts coming out of a dipole antenna, right? It doesn't mean you're restricted to using a dipole, but the power coming out in that direction must be equivalent to that. Now, the FCC is also proposing that if we are to keep the channels do we keep them at full power at 100 watts? Do we have them just for use in emergencies? Do we have them full time? You know, and the ARL is kind of arguing, well, you know, we should get to keep both and we should keep the channels at full power because this will help us practice for emergency communications. And it's also how Canada does it. And you know what? They aren't wrong, right? That we want to have access to the spectrum, not only for emergency drills, but also for scientific experimentation and being able to use this channel to investigate propagation. So the ARL does that. Other issues at play are what kind of digital mode should be allowed, whether they should be stored forward email services like WinLink in there or FT8 probably or other stuff. And also should this band be restricted just for emergency communications or normal time. And also whether this channel should even be allocated to the amateur service, whether it should be allocated to something like Mars military affiliate radio service or shares, which is a another cooperative thing between radio amateurs and the government. Either way, times are changing. Things are changing. We are either going to get this new band with no strings attached, or we going to give up our channels for this band. And I don't know how I feel about that. I do think that I want to see us keep Spectrum. At the same time, you know, we might end up just losing it. And of course, the biggest proponents behind removing us from the 60 meter channels are the NTIA, the National Telecommunications Information Administration, which is essentially the spectrum regulator for the government. So they don't want us on there. They said the amateurs can have their continuous allocation and then give us back the channels. 
that's probably how it is. I don't know. Is that how it's going to be? We'll see. We'll keep an eye on this. Until next time, my friends, peace in the 73.